All right, welcome back. It's day four of Severe Weather Awareness Week, and today's topic is severe thunderstorm safety. Look who's back, our very own Beth Finello again. Hey! All right, so what do you have for us today? So, you know, day four, new topic, yeah. severe thunderstorm safety. Yeah. So, severe thunderstorms, they're capable of producing damaging winds and some hail. I've got a hail video that I wanted to show you guys because this is something that a lot of people don't take as seriously mm -hmm. because right. it's just a severe thunderstorm. It's a storm. Yeah. This is what could happen. You could have severe hail, I mean, just large hail up to the size of ping pong balls, golf balls, you know, the size of hen eggs, even as small as pea. So that wouldn't do as much damage, but it looks like there's snow on the ground from how much hail there actually is. So when a severe thunderstorm warning is issued, you want to make sure that you're inside. I mean, if any kind of storm is rolling through, you want to go inside. You just want to be safe because this, if you get hit in the head by four or five of these, that's going to do some damage. Yeah, we saw yeah. some photos or video last year of a woman in the Ozarks, I think it was yes. several months ago, that really kind of got beat up. Yes, you know, from hail. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that can be it's bad. It's not something you expect. And so right. I have ignored these warnings before, I have sure. to admit, because yeah. it's like, it's a storm, you know. But then you don't think about, oh, well, it could be lightning it could be the big hail yeah. you know and they do, yeah. do damage i mean if it does damage to my car it's probably going to do damage to my skin exactly no just imagine yeah. the the massive dents that are seen on vehicles yeah. imagine the massive dent that can be on you Ouch. from the hail yeah. you know which yeah. is, it's a lot i've got a couple yeah. more pictures that i wanted to show you guys okay. about hail and just some different damage so this is a tree uh, from uh straight line winds which is okay. also something that comes from severe thunderstorm warnings uh -huh. it mm -hmm. doesn't take a tornado to knock over a tree it doesn't mm -hmm. take a tornado to cause severe damage and that's why during severe weather awareness week we want people to be aware of what's going on mm -hmm. especially in severe thunderstorm warnings because mm -hmm. most people don't take those seriously even yeah. driving if, well if that fell on you yeah exactly exactly yeah. right you'd be on the business mm -hmm. end of this tree it's not going to be mm -hmm. good whether no. you're standing there or you're driving exactly yeah. i got another one i think this one is yeah so this is what a severe thunderstorm looks like this is from the outs this is from the like outer layers mm. of it this is a, a roll cloud wow this was out it's in beautiful, Carthage before it actually got here oh so um, just you know another thing to keep an eye on just a sign of oh maybe I should check my radar are we looking at that big round part, rounded part this is that white part right the white here. part yeah. okay so this is what you call a roll cloud yes okay, okay. so if you see one of these it is Definitely photo worthy, but yes. don't stand oh, yes. around too long. Take a picture, send right. it in, then go back inside. And then go back inside. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I've got another one for you guys. This one is the hail. This again, it can, hail can be pea sized, quarter sized. Um, hen egg is a two inch sized one. It's a very mm -hmm. odd measurement, but it can also be as long as large as a ping pong or a golf ball. So yeah. it can do that. Could do a lot of damage. It really can. It could break windshields. It can hurt you, it could cause tree limbs to fall, it can do a lot, a lot of damage. Now, is hail a precursor to something worse sometimes, or is it just a... Not necessarily. It, not necessarily, mm -hmm. okay. Nope, it could just be large hail that comes through and it rains and then it just moves on. And then it's just done. Mm -hmm. But I know that sometimes those storm warnings do come with that and you just yeah. don't know if you're going to get it. But a lot of times you do hear you guys say, we have the very likelihood of that happening. Right, so. and sometimes we'll get reports warning. too. Yeah, Okay. good. From the ground. All right. I love good. learning from you. Isn't it interesting? I, I know. used to hang out with this a lot more often. I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. What are we talking about tomorrow? Tomorrow is flood safety. Ooh. Oh, I've got some that's one we need guys. to make sure to listen to. I've got some more questions. If you were here yesterday, we talked about lightning. We had that little quiz and scared me to death about the lightning. <laughs> I don't like lightning. Um, yeah, and I will yeah. never think of it the same way after your lesson yesterday. Very effective. Good. Thank you, Beth, Beth Finella. Finella. Thank you. You're welcome. Good mm. stuff. All right, coming up out of the clear blue sky. I ran across an article about a fellow Arkansas alumnus who teaches something called culinary therapy. Mm, okay, had to find good. out more. So I'm going to talk to him next.